What's up everybody, it's Brandon Sad from Be The Visionary, back with another video. And today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make custom layouts on Instagram with Photoshop. I got this idea from two popular Instagram accounts. One being DJ Mustard. There's really no rules to this collage. And if you scroll through the page, you can see that you can make it any way you want. And the second account I got it from is ASAP Rockies. Both these artists have two different styles. However, they're both dope. So let's get into it. So first thing you want to do when you have Photoshop open is go to File, New. A normal Instagram photo is 1080 by 1080. However, we're making a collage. So usually collages are nine images. So you want to set your dimensions to 3240 by 3240. And resolution, you can keep that at 72. And once you have that, press OK. After you press OK, you want to go to the top and go to View, New Guide Layouts, and set the columns to 3. Make sure that there's nothing in gutter. And then you want to set the rows to 3 as well. And this will give you a grid. It'll split your Instagram photo into 9 different images. I might as well let you guys know now, I'm gonna be honest. We're only gonna fill up these three because usually it's only popular celebrities with a huge following that can post nine images in a collage and not get unfollowed. We're gonna start it at file new again and we're just gonna change the height, put it at 1080, but keep the width at 3240. So once you have that, we're gonna repeat the steps from before. View, new guide layout. Instead of rows being at three, Put it at zero okay now i'm gonna start creating my collage i'm literally just gonna start pasting photos all over the canvas to fill it up now i'm finally finished after two long hours so now that i have these split up it's going to be split up into three different images the next thing you want to do to save it is go to slice tool. You want to select the slice tool and at the top it's going to say slice from God. And after you click that you want to go to export, save for web and usually leave the settings as it is. It should say PNG 34. So once you do that it's going to prompt you to save the images in a certain folder, what I did was I went ahead and created a separate folder so I know where the images are. Then after that, you're done. You're finished. Here are the three images and how they came out. Came out really good. All right, that's it, everybody. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up if it was helpful.